from Chamber of Commerce. You know, that's, that's expected. Um, we're going really quickly back to that, and this is going to tie into SEO and, and, and search engine marketing for you. This is back to the because they've got a lot of goals set up and they're a lead generation organization, so you can really see, you get a lot of data here. They have two goals, schedule an appointment and contact us. Contact us, got to have a contact us page in your site, but you should also still have a call to action that gives them their value. So on this page, we have schedule an appointment and call to action. As you can see, more people use the schedule appointment link call to action. But both, contact us, but both are important. They both represent the user engaging the organization. But here's the cool thing. For every traffic source, for every place coming from, I can see how likely, how likely they are to take an action. So I know that Yelp has a 36% conversion rate. When someone comes from Yelp, three engage. They go to the contact page or they schedule an appointment. That's pretty awesome. I would spend more money in Yelp. Granted, there's only 12 people coming from Yelp. So I think that's a stat, but I really need more time. I'd like to see this be 100 before I say that that's a stat. Before I say, yep, we really are getting 50%, we really can't spend more money here. Or sorry, yeah, Yelp is actually 50. Maps.google.com is 36%. So Google Maps has a 30% conversion rate, Yelp has a 50% conversion rate. With more volume, I would be able to make a recommendation on where money should be spent. You know, hey, you should advertise in Yelp. They convert. That's good for you. <clears throat> Google Organic, however, brings a thousand people to the site. So even though it has a slightly lower percentage rate, 20% conversion, it's still pretty awesome. That's where the meat comes from. So if you can do things to double or triple this traffic compared to double or tripling this traffic, even though the conversion here, this is your larger opportunity because of pure volume. But in understanding where they come from affects what they do, and having the goal set up, you can make marketing decisions that directly impact your bottom line and can scale your company because you're paying attention. Because when they come into the house, you're looking at everything, they're like, oh, oh, how'd you get here? Oh, you went down 40. You know, try 147 next time. You know, it comes back to the party. When you have a chance to exchange and talk to them and, and get feedback from them, the more feedback that you get, the smarter you are about what they're after. If you talk, hey, you know, I really, you know, I'm a vegetarian. Oh, I didn't know that. We only have brats and, and hamburgers today. <laughs> you know? It's like, I'll make sure we have, we have a vegetarian option next time you're here. Um, this is just more detail on whether or not, so Yelp, that 50%, was 25.25 on schedule appointment or contact us. So you can see how which traffic source does what actions. Just more detail. Um, we're out of time. Um, I'd like to still cover search engine stuff and I don't mind talking for another 20 minutes unless I have to leave. If anyone wants to stick around, all right, I don't have to leave and I have nothing scheduled till 11. So if you guys want to stick around, next, the next things we're going to talk about now are testing and making changes to the website and using, actually, I'll skip to marketing first and then maybe we'll come back to testing and making changes. So we're going to talk about marketing next. Um, oh, no problem. Yeah, uh, the slides will be available. And the slides, just like you saw here on the other topics, have good little lists in them that are, that are good little helpful to-dos and, and things to, to think about. I believe so. Spencer? Okay. On SlideShare? All right, do you guys know how to use that? All right, take a card and email me. I'll make sure you get it. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to skip improvement for now, even though there's a mad scientist there, <laughs> um, and go straight to online mar actual advertising of online marketing, getting the word out. Um, these are your general methods. They're general. 
kind of high-level methods. You've got search engine marketing, publishing and content marketing, which is really very much intrinsically tied both with search engine marketing and social media and online PR. Like, this is kind of the in-between stage. You know, so some people publish for SEO, some people publish as part of the baseline for their social media. This is very in-between, but everything you do here feeds that. So it's all completely integrated. But so we'll talk about search engine marketing first. Do you guys have specific questions on, on any of these areas? Since we are pressed for time that I can kind of skip through and get straight to things that you're absolutely interested in. Is there any interest in banner ads, Perl, and offline stuff? Mainly social media and SEO, right? OK, cool. So let's talk about search engine marketing. Um, And, and it, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't get any better than this when it comes to targeting. Um, and on, in the online world, it's the first thing I go after. Search engine, both paid search and the because in these channels, people are what they want. I want a cleaning service. They're the most qualified. If someone walked into this room with a sign around their neck that said cleaning service, would any of you have it? If you satisfy that need, could you immediately get up, walk over, and pitch them? Immediately. If they say, I want a cleaning service, sign around their neck, would you have any trouble knowing exactly the first thing to say to them and how to introduce yourself? None at all. You know exactly who they are because you deal with, that, with people with that need every day. You know exactly how to approach them. You know the information they need. You've done it so many times, you can predict their questions. You can answer their questions. You can show them value and give them an offer they won't be able to refuse because you've done it in the past and other people weren't able to refuse it, right? Search marketing, whether it's paid search or SEO, is people, real people, with signs around their neck saying, I want this. It, it, it does not get any better when it comes to attracting a targeted visitor. Now the cool thing, the good and bad thing about paid search is that you pay for what you get. Which means you have total control over what traffic's coming to your website. Complete and total control. If you don't have any green house cleaning services, right? If you don't have a green option, you can just not bid on those keywords. Because if you bid on the green keywords and there's nothing on your website that speaks to their need, they're going to go away and you will have wasted money. You can control it. You can say, oh, no green keywords, no discount keywords, no cheap. I want keywords that are, that are good and quality. That's what I want. We're going to target those. When someone types in good house cleaner, quality house cleaning, I want them because they'll understand our difference. And so you don't target cheap house cleaning. And you have a choice because you're paying for it. But it's guaranteed and it's absolutely qualified. So if in place and you can pay for this keyword from this traffic source, 30% of them become leads, and you know how often you turn that lead into a customer, you can go straight from revenue to marketing spend for that group of keywords. And you can say, I spent $50 and I made $200. I'm going to do more of that. That was good. Let's keep that up. So how you connect the dots between what you're spending and what you're making is critical. And, and having the site metrics in place is the key to do that. Um, so paid search can be very, very effective, even though you're paying for it. So long as you pay attention to your lead rates, how often they, to, how often they achieve those goals, and how often you close the business. And you can track most of that in a spreadsheet either from just your sales lists or and then tie in the information that you can pull from Google Analytics. And you can connect the dots really easily. Um, search engine optimization, on the other hand, you have no control over. The only thing you can do really within search, en search engine optimization is make a recommendation. Right? These are over here. You can do both of these in either of those channels. It's just another traffic source. It's just another search engine. And actually, Yahoo is about to come off the list. Because um, Yahoo's going to be Bing, for the most part. So so the point here with SEO is that you can make a recommendation to Google. And you can show Google who you are, what you're about, 
and why you're awesome.